Beautiful day unfolding, uncluttering the mind, unmolding. Even the bird song, no scolding. This moment of breath, no holding. Amana Ali Shabar. In this talk, we address misguided breath holding, asthma, athletes, blood pressure, eyesight, and email apnea. I'm Michael Grant White, licensed and certified holistic health professional at breathing.com. I often say that the sweetest secret of life is developing energy and managing it. Our primary energy source is breathing. So we begin with the fundamentals of breathing function and continue from there. Laughter is great for breathing. So let's begin with some humor. Give a person a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach a person to use the internet and he won't bother you for weeks. Many don't think they hold their breath, but on closer observation, discover that they really do. Odds are that even our parents were not breathing properly. We unconsciously unbalanced or shallow breathe in many situations from simple day-to-day -day activities to highly stressed encounters. This develops what we call the speed bump of life, a severe block and breathing ease outlined in our DVD-1, or tightness across the chest and shortness of breath, causing or worsening almost every illness known to mankind. As children, we hold our breath to control the level of fear, anger, or even love or excitement. This becomes chronic and may stay with many through their entire lives in the form of shallow, unbalanced breathing. Excessive stress from infancy to adulthood overstimulates the startle reflex, explained in our DVD-1. This causes one's entire body to remain tightened and develop irregular breathing patterns one may never grow out of. Misguided breathing there is a direct relationship between breathing and aliveness. To train people to underbreathe is to me counterintuitive. Breath holding exercises can lower the breathing rate, which usually is good, but may or may not relax. Used too much over time, they most often restrict natural breathing potential. For example, an anti-asthma breath holding hunger for air control pause illness model from Russia uses breath holding to increase plasma CO2 to allow more oxygen to the cells. This may aid easier breathing a great deal for some for a while, but when the restricted breathing habit invites lower cellular oxygen, where is the crossover point that lower cellular oxygen levels begin to compromise metabolism? The cells need copious oxygen, high lung volume, and breathing ease, without which adrenaline, histamine, cortisol, and inflammation can run rampant. Supplementing with extra oxygen is usually a very wise choice, but with the breathing pattern insights taught by the hunger for air CO2 approach, people may not be able to, or at least think they can't tolerate the extra oxygen because they have been trained from the perspective of illness rather than wellness. The key to optimal breathing is the breathing pattern and foundation, not so much the rate. The rate is important, but less so than the pattern. The real antidote to most overbreathing or hyperventilation, regardless of the breath rate, is a strong lower abdominal front side and back, deep, relaxed breathing foundation, and not breathing very much or at all in the chest. Our biofeedback instrument called a capno trainer monitors carbon dioxide in the exhaled air and can demonstrate this quite well. Our DVD-2 has many techniques and exercises to this end. The key is how to maintain both CO2 and oxygen levels when the proverbial stuff hits the fan. Stress without distress. Yoga and breath holding. Gentle ancient yoga is a wonderful approach to conscious living. 
Many modern day yoga and personal growth teachers advocate a pattern of say four count inhale, four count hold, four exhale and four hold, or whatever numbers fit their present level of understanding. They are not teaching ancient yoga, rather a new age form that has lost some of the wisdom taught by classical yoga approaches such as Iyengar, Shivananda, and Yogi Amrit Desai. Most people have never experienced optimal breathing, so they have nothing to compare to. Indian gurus I have spoken with counsel to stay away from most yoga breathing exercises called pranayama. Be careful out there. I caution everyone to not hold their breath repeatedly nor try difficult lengths of breath holds beyond a minute or two, and to consistently perform techniques and exercises that counteract the tendency towards restricted or limited breathing volume. Remember, breathing volume is the primary marker for how long you will live, not how long you can hold your breath. Clinical studies supporting this are included in our kit's supplemental CD. Athletes and breath holding, Sports-related asthma and bronchodilator usage is epidemic. Your muscle cells undergo a chain of reactions known as cell respiration. Aerobic respiration is the usual and preferred way for your cells to produce energy. But when your body is deprived of oxygen, your cells have to resort to anaerobic respiration that scavenges oxygen from your cells. When that happens, the energy-producing process creates lactic acid. I've worked out for years and rarely get sore. Even while training for the senior games where I took a bronze medal in the race walk at age 72 after having trained for five weeks out of the previous 55 years. I strongly suspect that depending on the conditioning of the individual breath holding while exerting invites the tendency towards a stroke. When I work out, I make sure my breathing before exertion is as big and easy as can be. You will release hidden or obvious breathing restrictions caused by stress, physical work or workouts with our DVD-2 in our self-mastery kit. It includes several breathing-oriented weight training guides outlined in the kit's supplemental CD. Pay strict attention to breathing volume and the optimal breathing window described in DVD-1 of the kit. Female apnea. In Linda Stone's article, Just Breathe, Building the Case for Email Apnea, she stated that research conducted by Margaret Chesney and National Institute of Health research scientist Dr. David Anderson demonstrated that breath holding while typing contributes significantly to stress-related diseases. The body becomes acidic the kidneys begin to reabsorb sodium, and as the oxygen, carbon dioxide, and nitric oxide balance is undermined, inflammation increases and metabolism is thrown way off. I sure look forward to state-of-the-art talk to typing. Blood pressure. In a study, people who voluntarily held their breath during abdominal exercises had higher peak blood pressure elevations compared to when they breathed during the exercises. We show you how to reduce blood pressure in our DVD too. Save the breath holding for extreme and life-threatening sports and certain modalities requiring special equipment and real-time monitoring. And by the way, excessive abdominal tensions have been shown to increase erectile dysfunction. Most belts restrict a deep, easy breathing foundation. Some people hold their breathing back to make their belly seem smaller. Eyesight and breath holding. Breath holding techniques tighten chest, throat, jaw, and eyes, which adds to or creates vision and voice problems, including gasping on the inhale. The eyes must have oxygen. Temporary blindness can occur by holding the breath too long. The retinas use a relatively large amount of oxygen, and natural vision teachers have found that breath holding results in poorer vision than when breathing is natural and relaxed. 
Blurry vision and cataracts have been shown to clear up through a combination of good breathing, natural vision techniques, and diet. Optimal breathing greatly aids vision, and you can learn more about vision at visionsofjoy.org. What if you could quickly learn to breathe better, have more oxygen, wake up rested, and get more done? It all starts with the way we breathe. Three breathing tests, self-mastery kit, personal assistance, Bree's new letter and gift, all in one place at breathing.com. I'm Mike White. Thank you.